The Bad Ab Conflict is a really interesting one that you can get lost in quite easily in Warhammer 40k lore. The conflict centers around the Astral Claws and the Sector of Bad Ab fighting against the Greater Imperium because they refuse to pay taxes because Bad Ab eloquently put that if they use the resources that they would give the Imperium, they could actually contain the Maelstrom Warp Rift that was plaguing the system for a long time, but the inquisitorial powers at that time didn't take too kindly to that, so a war erupted. With the entire conflict being a space marine fighting fiesta, with it being the largest loyal to space marine war since the heresy, with it being one of the more large conflicts in modern 40k that don't have to do with Katie exploding or any Primarchs coming back, or any new demon princes trying to scourge the galaxy for artifacts, and it all comes in one singular sector of the galaxy, with it being a conflict that showcases cases the issues of the Imperium and how it suffered, with the Imperium itself being characterized as a decaying and mismanaged empire that is on the brink of collapse, like the rotting corpse sitting upon a golden throne, which is practically dead but worshipped like it was God itself. Wait, that's literally the Emperor of Mankind. Nice storytelling, 40k. In this video, we're going to go over some of the chapters that showed up during the Bad Ab War, and let's cover 10 of them or something, because it's a nice round number. First up, we're going to be talking about the Loyalist chapters in this conflict that were on the side of the Inquisition and the Greater Imperium, and for the most part, there are a few things that these chapters have in common, with the main one being that a lot of them are very traditional Space Marine Legions that follow the Codex Astartes to almost a T, and the fact that most of them are pretty buddy-buddy with the Inquisition usually with the Inquisition having an important factor in their origin or history. So they're all Inquisitorial lapdogs. The Minotaurs are a Loyalist Space Marine chapter with no known successors. With most of their history being heavily censored to even about a thousand years ago, being so heavily censored to the point that not even the Inquisition can get through them. They were most likely made during the Cursed Founding, which made Space Marines that oftentimes mutated horribly. But in modern 40k times, they're most known to fight Successionist Space Marine chapters, most commonly. They likely do this because they want to test their own combat prowess to duel other Adeptus of Astartes like them, which are their most close, equal combatants. They have short tempers for anyone that isn't one of their own, and adhere very closely to the Codex Astartes. They embody that force that Space Marines once were in the Imperium, with descending on planets as a blunt force to stop an enemy of mankind with all of them going to fight. They are fashioned around Greek Spartans, with some of them being the most terrifying single combatants in the Imperium, especially their chapter master that may or may not be a custodian. The Red Scorpions are also adherent Codex Astartes followers that are renowned for following it at all times. They are known for fighting against the forces of chaos and other rebelling forces, and they are human supremacists to say the least, only fighting with humans or other space marines and refusing to work on the side of any aliens or abhumans. Like, they don't even like ogrens. They also strive for genetic and spiritual purity. The Red Scorpions have one of the most pure gene seeds out of all space marine chapters out there. Usually, their apothecaries are the leaders of squads of sergeants, making it so gene seed can be recovered very quickly. Their color scheme is black with yellow trim and red, and a logo of a red scorpion. The red scorpions are all about being supremacist and completely eradicate things they don't like, so if you couldn't tell, these guys are basically not. The exorcists were made to be hard counters towards demonic possession and chaos corruption. To make sure they were actually built to fight off demons as part of an initiation ritual, they get possessed by a demon, becoming a demon host for a short time. They then have the demon ripped out of their body, and everything's alright, but the Inquisition and the exorcists are intrinsically linked, with their origins also being highly classified. Except for all the demon stuff and one other thing, they are incredibly Codex Astartes compliant, and that thing is is that they have a bit more space marines than usual, having two more companies. Lots of neophytes in the Exorcist suffer from passing away mysteriously before they become full space marines. Huh, I wonder how that happens. Probably because they're trying to test how warp resistant they are. The Firehawks are a successor chapter of the Ultramarines. They lost their homeworld twice and have been through the brink of destruction multiple times. They use a fortress monastery that was lost during the Bad Ab War with the people on there being completely wiped out. They often honor duel to several disputes and they're very stubborn in how they fight trying to use the full might of their chapter to demolish their enemies. The Firehawks are known to help out with the refurbishment of the Inquisition during the reign of Goj Vandire where they help dethrone him. Since then, they have been very closely intertwined with the Inquisition, with them being some inquisitorial lapdogs. The Novarines come from the second founding of Space Marine chapters that follow the Codex Astartes to a T with virtue and honor. They are one of the chapters to go deep into unexplored space to pave the way for humanity to settle. Novarines have to patrol such a large area that it's unusual for them to all show up 
as a full chapter to fight, with them being some of the few space marines to fight the Tau when they first popped up. They've been used as a crusade force to fight Tyranid Hive fleets, with them usually fighting against Xenos out in the galaxy, eradicating them from the face of the galaxy. As of recent, they have taken large hits in numbers because of some campaigns that went poorly. But their time in the Bad Ab campaign is a small footnote in their giant history. The other side of the war was the Successionists. Something that unites most of these members of this group are that all of them have a deep connection to the Bad Ab sector, as well as having some sort of debt to the commanding chapter of the Successionists, the Astral Claws, with Chaos only peeping its ugly little head out at the end of this conflict. The Astral Claws, now called the Red Corsairs, were made as a chapter to deal with the Maelstrom Zone that protected it for centuries until they rebelled and attempted to succeed from the Imperium as a whole, with them being the reason why the Bad Ab War happened, with the large bulk of their lore being based around the Bad Ab War, with the meat and potatoes of where they are in current lore happening with what happened after the Bad Ab, where the Astral Claws all went insane and began to do some very chaos -y stuff, where they started executing salamanders and messing with Genesee like Chaos Worshippers would. Needless to say, they are Chaos Worshippers now and attack the Imperium through the Maelstrom Warp Rift every once in a while. The Mantis Warriors are a White Scar successor chapter that was made to look after the Maelstrom Sector while being very closely intertwined with the Bad Ab Sector, with again, most of their lore being around the Bad Ab War. They just are pretty cool loyal guys who made an honest mistake during the Bad Ab War of following the Astral Claws. Since then, they've been fighting against Tyranids and have been largely forgiven for the most part. They're known for hyper-focusing only on their little small part of the Imperium, not really caring what goes on outside of it, them only really being known for what happened during the Bad Ab conflict. They still are a White Scar successor chapter though, so they seem really good at assaulting things head on and taking down supply lines while fighting in a full frontal assault, being pretty great at melee and going fast. The Executioners are an Imperial Fist successor chapter that embodies some of the rage of Rogaldorn. They're told to be something like savages who are seen as primitive and bloodthirsty fighters, but in actuality they're honor bound and skilled at combat, with them succeeding where most chapters would fail in melee combat, striving even when the Imperium was at its worst. The Executioners actually defect back into the Imperium when they find out that the Astral Claws devolved into a bunch of Chaos Worship. So they were absolved of all guilt by the Imperium because of that and were honor bound by nature, making it so the Executioners had to help the Astral Claws by the debt they had. But overall they are scrappy melee fighters. The last two of these chapters ones I've actually covered in other videos that you can watch. I've been on a bad ad binge for these past few weeks. Maybe I'll cover this whole thing in full someday. And if you like these guys, make sure to check out the videos that I did about them. The Lamenters are the Space Marine versions of humanitarians that are rewarded for their heroism with only punishment and death. The Lamenters, for their entire time in the Milky Way galaxy, have been cursed with having the worst luck possible, and the worst superstitions sent against them from the Greater Imperium, with them originating from the curse founding and being forced into the fringes of the galaxy because how they were seen as abhuman. They were sent to Bad Ab to deal with the Maelstrom Zone and got buddy-buddy with the Astral Claws, and were almost wiped out by the Minotaurs. Since then, they have been sent on a penitent crusade across the galaxy, with them teaming up with other Space Marine chapters, fighting Tyranids. Lastly, the Karkidons are a bunch of space sharks that originate from the Raven Guard, split off because the Primarch wasn't a fan of how the Space Marines were in the Legion. They also inhabit the fringes of the galaxy that circle in for a kill once they get the scent of blood. They emerged the Greater Imperium during the Bad Ebb War and were kind of mysterious. They're some of the most brutal one-on-one -on -one fighters, being mostly melee, with genetic defects that makes their skin gray and their eyes dead and beady, like sharks. With their chapter master being a giant compared to other space marines wearing modified Terminator armor that isn't that good at speaking or being a diplomat, but he can get in a fight. And those are some of the space marine chapters that are part of the Bad Ebb War. I really have gotten into the Bad Ebb War as they have gone down a bit of a rabbit hole. If you would like me to go over to the Battle of War and some more detail on these chapters sometime soon. Maybe write in the comments on what you would like to see me cover in more detail. But that's all I got for this video. Till next video, fellas!